हेलो 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 हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू मई वीडियो की हाल चाल आई फिर डिंग गुड अगेन बिफोर स्टार्ट इन वीडियो इफ इफ एंड ओनली इफ यू आर लाइकिंग द वीडियो देन ओनली इफ यू कैन प्लीज स्मैश द लाइक बटन प्लीज ओके इट सिंपली सेज दैट वी आर गिवन अ मिनिमम टाइम टू ब्रेक लॉक्स वन नाउ बॉब इज स्टक इन अ डंजन एंड ही हैज टू ब्रेक एन लॉक्स एज यू कैन सी यू आर गिवन एन लॉक्स एंड ऑल्सो अ वैल्यू के वी विल सी वॉट्स द बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस के वैल्यू नाउ each requiring some amount of energy so to break a lock he has something and you have okay where strength of i indicates the energy required to break that ith lock so this is the strength of i value and it indica it indicates that you need to have this much or more energy to break this specific lock now bob has a sword and now it has some characteristics initial energy of the sword is zero as you can see initial energy itself is zero now you have a factor called as the current factor or also the initial factor x in the code you will see i will refer it as current factor which in the very beginning is you can see which by which the energy of the sword increases by increases is plus 1 so you can simply say that my current factor itself is 1 and with this factor itself my energy of the sword increases why i am saying energy of the sword increases because the next line says every minute the energy of the sword increases by the current factor and as you can see the current factor itself we actually was increasing by 1 so my current factor itself is 1 and i am increasing my energy by that specific current factor you can see plus now to break that ith lock the energy of the sword must reach at least strength so my energy is increased by the current factor and again make sure the current factor is fixed only the energy is increasing by this current factor and it is increasing every minute now my energy if it becomes more than the strength of i only and only then i will be able to break that specific ith lock and as soon as i break the ith lock the energy of the sword reaches to zero energy will become zero but the current factor will actually increase by the value of k and that is where the k will be leveraged that the factor will be increased by existing factor plus adding the value of k you have to tell or determine the minimum time in minutes as you can see this operation is happening every minute so minimum time in minutes required for the bob to break all the unlocks again make sure it is all the unlocks minimum time is the answer now if you look at the example then uh, obviously let's see what the example simply says so there are two portions to it what is the algorithmic most optimal way and this portion that what is the corresponding energy utilized to break any of the lock with this specific current factor so in the very beginning i can easily see my current factor itself is 1 as i mentioned the current factor is 1 so my energy my energy will increase by this current factor and it will keep on increasing until it reaches any of the values that it can break so i will simply see that nums of i is 1 my energy itself will increase by this current factor so it will take seal of seal of One which is nums of i upon one which is a which is a current factor. Now you now you might say Arin, how you know this, bro? Simply look at it. If you have the value of seven, which is let's say the strength, and your current energy is increasing by three at every step, which is fixed, which is called as current factor in this case. So I am asking you how many minutes it will take to surpass seven or become equal to seven. So you will see that. you will increase initially your energy is zero you will increase by plus 3 it will become 3 you will increase by plus 3 it it will it will be, become 6 you will increase by plus 3 it will become a 9 it has surpassed again i am saying my energy should become equal to or more than my strength so in three steps it was able to surpass it how i was able to find it simply for my 7 my current factor is 3 this is my strength how many steps will be required simply giving us the seal value this will give me 2 point something seal value which is nothing but 3 so i am required three steps so this is how i can figure out that for a specific fixed like for a specific fixed current factor and the given nums of i how many minutes will be required same way as you can see that considering one of the one of the locks is demolished 
my current factor will increase by a factor of k value of k so current factor was 1 initially it will increase by plus k it will become a 2 it will become a 2 then again do the same stuff that nums of i is 2 so time required will be 4 by 2 c value which is 2 then again you will see that uh, i leveraged it again having a current factor of 3 because uh, current factor plus k 2 plus k is 3 nums of i is 3 time will become 3 by 3 1 so 1 plus 2 plus 1 answer is 4 now you might ask Arun, how okay we realized this portion that how i will figure out how many minutes will be required for every num of i given i am given a corresponding current factor but Aryan, how did you make sure that firstly you are trying for one then four and then three now for the folks who solve for the first time might feel it is a greedy and obviously that's the first intuition because we see okay my current factor is one any number which is as close to as obviously see i want i'm i'm taking the corresponding seal value here right I'm taking corresponding seal value so if i'm taking the corresponding seal value if i look at it in terms of the current factor would have been two i'm taking a seal value so three by two seal would have been given me two i am i am i'm getting a value of two with some number and same way if i do four by two seal value again i'm getting a two so isn't it good to firstly demolish a higher strength number rather than demolishing a lower strength number it makes sense right but 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 that is the entire you know uh, chalava to you as in like this entire culprit is making you feel that how will you figure out which next number to pick up from if you would have looked at very easily the constraints n is very small which means you don't need to even guess what should be the next number you can permute all possible comp all possible permutations which means you can have let's say you have three four one you can try as a sequence of one four three you can, you can try one three four you can try every sequence possible to get the corresponding answer again if you are still wondering if your example is still not mentioned in why greedy would fail for you just simply go and check the discuss section there people have given the corresponding examples also of why the corresponding greedy would fail but I'm referring that before jumping on to even thinking of and trying to prove you're greedy, just look at the constraints. There is not even necessity. And again, constraints are very, very, very small, which means they are trying to make sure that you try for all the possibilities, which means that you have tried and generate all the permutations. And for each permutation, you know now that this is the corresponding sequence, which means let's say one, four, three. So this is my nums of i this is the next number this is the next number which means at every in in the very beginning my current factor is nothing but one then it will increase by plus k increase by again plus is equals to k increase by plus k current factor plus is equals to k so now i realized for every number i would be very easily be able to know the current factor if i know the current factor if i know the number I would know the time, I would know the time, I would know the time, I will compute the total time and I will simply take the minimum total time which any of the permutation is giving me. Okay, so I have solved most of the problem. Now the only task remains, how will I find the permutation? There are multiple ways to solve it. You can solve it via recursion also, you can solve it by a simple bit manipulation also. I solved it by a recursion, it solved. It gave the correct answer also but if you solve via recursion what will happen is you will have to store all the permutations in a list of list in a list of list again list of list of let's say integers again or you can say vector of vector of integers which can take extra much 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 extra space and time again there are multiple ways to solve it via recursion also without even storing it but if you will look at it you are having these numbers firstly you will take a three or firstly you can take a four again when i say as the first element you can take either a three or a four or a one or a one as you can see at every index i have two options take it not take it take it not take it take it not take it cool so as the first element i took a three then a four then a one if i took a three then the remaining elements are four or one for three remaining elements are four or one so i can take either a four or a one as an next element if i take it the remaining will 
be a one or a four here. As you can see also, if I take the four as the first, remaining are three or a one. So as next, I can take three or a one as the next element. So you can simply see that at every step, which means in the first step, I will try to take every element as the corresponding first index. Then at the next step, I will look at every other element and will also try to make them as the corresponding next index and so on and so forth. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there is way of solving it by recursion also, but that incurs extra space. So the best way to use or to solve this is by making a corresponding mask. How, how making a mask? Now, why mask is required? Firstly, at this problem is when you take a three, obviously you will go on to every index. As I go to every index, I will make sure, okay, this will become a one zero zero. This will become a zero one zero. This will become a zero zero one. This represents that corresponding this specific bit number is taken. This bit number is taken. This bit number is taken. As you can see the location de like determines which look it is taken. So when I'm trying for the other values, which means for after three, I'm trying to put up next values. So firstly, I have to make sure what all values I can actually take up from the in initial array. I cannot take any, I, I cannot take a number which has this specific bit as set because it, in, it indicates that three is already taken. So I can take only the bits which are not set. So I can take these two bits. So I can try choosing this bit. Okay. Choosing this bit. Okay. Which means that this mask will become one, one, zero. This will become a one, zero, one. And same way, ultimately in the end, the mask will become a one, 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 one. Same way here, the mask will become a one, one, zero. Here it will become a zero, one, one. And ultimately one, 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 one. Thus, so as to leverage and optimize my space, I can simply use my mask. If you don't know what mask is, I'd highly recommend go and watch bit manipulation crash course. You'll get every idea. So ultimately, now you know that how will you generate the permutations? You also know that when a permutation is generated, how you can leverage math concept to figure out the total number of time taken or minutes taken. Let's see the code. It's very simple. Firstly, I, again, this is simply my actual function where I will simply go and start off by taking all and computing the calculate minimum. I will simply call and give, give my corresponding strength this is my initial index i will start off from sorry this is the corresponding mask i'm starting off from as you can see in the very beginning i have taken none, like no element in the very beginning i told you my current factor is one my current factor is one my k value which is given to me as an input k value which is given to me as an input and also my time elapse which is the total time which i am computing this is this is a total time then uh i will simply again there as you know this is a simple uh simply a recursion where you are using your bit manipulation or bit masking concepts here. So as you know, in any recursion, the base case is when I have iterated on all the elements, which means when my mask ha is having all ones, how you know that simply go and check that one left shift log count, log count actually, again, if I don't know, then uh, log count is nothing but a size. Size itself, let's say if the size of the array is three, which means I have three element, which means I can do one left shift three times. If I do a minus one, this will become a one, one, one. So, which means one left shift three times, which means one, three zeros, and then minus one will become all ones, right? And thus, and thus, this will indicate that all of, all of the elements are visited. So if the current mask is all ones, simply it is all visited. So simply minimize your minimum time, minimize your minimum time with the corresponding total time, which is the elapsed time and ultimately return. If not, then I will try and check my math, math concept, which means find the corresponding additional time required. What is that time? This is for individual, individual lock, individual lock of I, or I should, I should say strength of I. Simply, as I mentioned, take the corresponding seal value with the current factor. It is nothing but strength of I divided by current factor seal value, seal value. We can also represent it as strength of I plus CF minus one by CF. This is the same thing. So I will find the additional time, but before finding it, make sure that you check and go and ask that if your current mask, if your current mask is again, this ith index is not visited. Again, if you're confused with how you check this stuff, I'll again recommend go and watch the crash course. But if it is not visited, 
If it is visited, then continue, which means if the AND operation becomes a non-zero value, which means it, it is visited, that, num that bit is set, then continue. If not, then find the additional time and make sure to put that additional time in your current time. This is your new total time. K will remain as is, strength will remain as is. The mask will change because now I have to incorporate the current ith index element also in my current mask. So in my, again, exactly same as what I did dry run here. That if I do a left shift of this ith index, as you can see here, let's say if I'm leveraging and saying that the current mask here was a 100, I'm also leveraging and saying at this specific index, I'm taking it. So I'll do a one, one, and do a left shift, okay, at let's say one time. So this will be a new mask for my 40. I will do a OR operation in the existing mask. I will get a 110 as the new mask which I should pass on. So this is existing mask, do a OR operation with the corresponding mask of the new incoming element. So this is my new mask which I am getting. And make sure that considering you have iterated on the current strength of I, the factor should increase by K, increasing that factor by K. And ultimately, and ultimately getting the corresponding output done. Again, as I mentioned, initially the energy is initialized by the initial current factor itself because uh, that will help us to figure out other stuff which we want. But uh, as you can see that I'm not much leveraging that specific energy anywhere because I'm leveraging only the current factor, what I, what I want. And ultimately with this, I can get the answer. If you see the time for it, as we are trying for all the possibility of permutations, it's O of n time. And for every permutation, iterating on it to get the corresponding time or minimum time, or I should say the current time or the elapsed time for that specific permutation. Obviously, uh, because of the recursion, recursion can go at the depth of how many digits I have, or I should say how many strengths I have, or how many logs I have, that will take O of n time because of recursion. Cool, I hope you guys got it. It is not that easy, but also not that hard. It's more of mixture of math, bit manipulation, and uh, a mixture of, you know, uh, these stuffs. Cool, I hope you got it. Bye-bye. Take care. Please, 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 if you like it, please smash the like baby. Bye-bye.